Well, hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I am a regular dude walking in the Word. Hey, we are in uh, Genesis right now. We're working through Genesis. We're in chapter 15, and we're going to do chapter 15, I know, surprise, surprise, in two episodes. Um, and chapter 15 of Genesis is dealing with God's covenant uh, with Abram. Okay, he makes a covenant with him. You're going to see in that covenant, though, it's like all on God, really. I, God does all the... Um, Abraham is receiving everything, and um, God is the one uh, giving uh, to him. It's it's all in God's hands, really. But he makes this covenant, and so we're, today we're going to go through verses one through seven of chapter fifteen, and then tomorrow we'll do chapter eight, or chapter fifteen, verses eight through twenty-one. Um, so, and it's again, they're entitled, it's entitled God's Covenant with Abraham. And this is part one today, and then part two will be tomorrow. All right. So, let's read this. Um, we're going to go through this here. It says this After this, the word of the Lord, uh, what do you mean after this? This is after this, after he left, um, rescued Lot, and had his encounter with Melchizedek and the king of Sodom. Okay, so after all that was done, okay, now a Abram is back in his, uh, in, in the land again, not bothered by this stuff of Sodom and by Lot. He is, uh, and God comes to him. He says, after this, the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision. It said, do not be, he, uh, God said, do not be afraid, Abram, for I am your shield, your very great reward. Okay, that would be enough right there uh, to have that covenant. You know, just don't be afraid, a afraid Abram, I am your shield. Your very great reward, okay? Our reward is just our relationship with God, okay? Um, verse 2, But Abram said, Sovereign Lord, what can you give me since I remain childless, and the one who will inherit my estate is Eliezer of Damascus? And Abram said, You have given me no children, so a servant in my household will be my heir. And that was the kind of the lawful thing in that day. If you didn't have an, uh, any children, um, the most important servant got all your goods, okay? So Abram is getting up in years, and he's concerned, like, oh, thank you, God, for blessing me, but uh, I, I'm, I don't have that much longer to live, and uh, who's the heir that's going <laughs> to inherit this stuff, you know? And he's looking, and he's like, got all this, the cattle, the, uh, the sheep and, and goats and all that stuff, and these uh, servants, and he's like, uh, so I die, and then it goes to the heir that I have, the only heir I have is Eliezer, my servant. Verse 4, then the word of the Lord came to him, this man will not be your heir, but a son who is your own flesh and blood will be your heir. He took him outside and said, look up at the sky and count the stars. If indeed you can count them, then he said to them, so shall your offspring be. Okay. <laughs> so uh, God tells Abram, you know, uh, don't worry about it. Eliezer is not going to be your heir. And he said, I'm going to provide you an heir. But then he took him outside and said, hey, look up at the stars. It, when I look at the stars right now, because we got so much light pollution around here, um, it, it doesn't look like that many stars. When you get out into the wilderness area, well, I, I'll be out there in a couple weeks here. Um, I'll be able to see all kinds of stars. Okay. And keep in mind, back in that day, the the guys that were looking at the stars thought there's a lot of them, but didn't think there was that many. And now there's been speculations um, since that time that the amount of stars that are out there, you know, because the, the universe just keeps going on, on and on. We're just part of the Milky Way galaxy. There's other galaxies out there. And the stars um, would equal about the, the same amount of, of uh, sand on on all the seashores okay so that's a lot of sand if you just pick up a handful of sand you're like oh man that's a lot of sand but imagine all that sand on all every beach around the world okay and that's how many stars exist so it's like wow verse six abram believed the lord and he credited it to him as righteousness he also said to him, I'm the Lord who brought you out of Ur of the Chaldeans to give you this land to take possession of it. Okay, but and, and I'm going to stop there. But let me go, go back to verse 6 there. Uh, but Abram believed the Lord, and it was credited to him as righteousness. 
uh, Abram did nothing great. He just, he uh, simply, he loved the Lord. He followed the Lord and um, he obeyed the Lord. Okay. He believed the Lord and it was credited to him as righteousness. Okay. Um, in the same way, my righteousness when, when, um, uh, so with Abram, uh, let me compare this here with Abram. God looked at Abram and said, you know, you're righteous just because of your belief in me. Okay. When God looks at me today, he looks at me and sees me as righteous because he sees the blood of Jesus covering my sins. Okay. So in the same way, um, you know, it, it, Abram was righteous and I am righteous. Um, and I'm righteous because of, of the blood of Jesus um, that uh, covers my sin. Neither Abram was righteous on his own, and I'm not righteous on my own. But it's only because of God, really. Okay? So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, join us tomorrow. We're going to dive into the rest of this, this covenant. And it's an amazing uh, thing what happens with this. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow as we continue our journey through Genesis. Lord's blessing. See you then.